here I go. I scream my lungs out to try and get to you. You are my only, my only one. Uh, that is the chorus to the song Only One by Yellow Card. And Yellow Card was part of the emo movement of the early 2000s, much like grunge of the 90s, much like classic rock of the 60s. Uh, this was like what was relevant to like the alternative youth of my generation. Um, so they were, yeah, emo music was like emotionally charged rock music. And so the biggest deal, uh, if you were into that type of music, was the Vans Warped Tour. The Vans Warped Tour was a all day music festival sponsored by Vans Skate Shoe Company. So it was the highlight of any teenager in 2004. From the minute those tickets went on sale to the minute those gates opened, that was all we thought about. Um, me and my two girlfriends, we were together all the time. It was the three of us all the time. Uh, Warp Tour was no different. Warp Tour was no different. Um, so we got into my friend's Ford Taurus. We drove down to this racetrack. It was like a, it was like a drag race track in uh, Englishtown, New Jersey. And as soon as we got there, it was like teen pandemonium. We were, uh, you know, flirting with boys from out of town. We were like high on monster energy drinks. We were sunburned. We were broke by 10 a.m., you know, spending money on like band merch. And the reason that we went was because the highlighting band was Yellow Card. And they had a hit song that made it onto MTV that had this rotation, which was, like I said, only one. So we wait all day. We wait all day, and they finally go on, and the crowd is roaring, roaring. Thousands of kids. It's sunset. And the band can't do the encore with the hit song because the crowd is screaming so loud that the band can't play over them. So they just play the song, and the kids finish out the lyrics. And there's not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. And all of a sudden, during the encore, it starts biblically flooding. <laughs> biblically flooding, like torrential downpour. And just, we are wet, we are sunburned, we are laughing, we are screaming. It didn't matter. As long as the three of us were together, I didn't give a shit. Um, we could have drowned to death, and as long as the three of us were together, that's what, that was the high point. Um, it could only get better after that. It could only get better after that. So, a couple months after the Warp Tour, I get into it with one of the girls, and we have a grift, and we never speak again. Few months, no, I'm sorry, few years later, I'm a freshman in college. I get into it with the second girl. We have a grift. We never speak again. Neither of those women made it into my adult friendships. And years after that, I spent a decade in Austin, Texas, and I was done. Um, it felt like any other expensive city. Um, it lost its magic. I, I wanted something new. So I moved to San Antonio, Texas, which is a very rich, uh, not rich in money, but like rich in culture, rich in history, big. And I'm, I'm from a big city. That didn't bother me. But I couldn't find my groove there. I couldn't find friends. I couldn't find a dentist. I couldn't find... I couldn't find a grocery store that I liked, and I, I couldn't fit in, and I was desolately lonely. Um, I was catatonic in my grief. I had missed Austin so much. And I had a boyfriend at the time, shockingly. And I asked the boyfriend, he also lived in San Antonio with me, and I was like, hey, let's go to 
uh, karaoke. I, it, it's going to be fun. And he was like, no. What do you mean, no? And he's like, no, it's 11.45 on a Monday. I have work in the morning, and karaoke makes me uncomfortable. And I'm like, fine. Cute. Real cute. So I get my ass into the car, and I go by myself. And I go to this cheese-shaped building. The bar is called High Tones. It looks like a giant block of cheese. And then I walked in there, and they had a stage that matched the architecture that was also a giant block of cheese. So your basic, you know, your basic karaoke setup. Uh, screen, microphone, sign-up list, MC, drunks, you know. <laughs> so first couple goes up there. It's December. It's freezing. They have matching ugly Christmas sweaters on. And they do a mariachi duet. I, I swear to God. Uh, mariachi duet. Then the next group of people that go on, they're like college kids. They all have like feathered boas and they're all like, you know, they do something from the 90s. And then uh, this older gentleman goes on. He's got horn rim glasses, little hat, does some disco hit. And then this guy goes up there and he is incredibly posh incredibly well-dressed, like huge, burly, like Hispanic dude, probably my age, tattoos on both hands, rings on both hands, suede jacket, suede cowboy, well, like tan cowboy hat, tan shoes. And he goes up there and he just looks so put together, so gorgeous. And he's waiting for the lyrics to go on the screen. And these notes start to play, and this violin starts to play. And I am like jolted awake, because the last time I heard those notes, and the last time I heard that violin, I was a teenager at the Warp Tour. And it was yellow card, only one. And I start to lose it. I am losing it. I, it was like being in an electric chair. You know, I was just so happy and so alive and so loved once again. You know, I, 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 I felt holy, you know, I felt pure again. And I, this guy was my only one. I like looked at him and he's singing the lyrics. Here I go. I scream my lungs out to try and get to you. You are my only, my only one. And I'm screaming at this guy as if he is the band. And there are 35 other people who have also been to the Warp Tour and they're screaming with me. And we are dancing in the bar. And I never got to talk to this guy. I never got to ask him about the Warp Tour. But what I took from it, he made me a person again. Um, he made me loved again. I wasn't lonely. I wasn't um, broken before all of that heartache, all of that despair, and all of that disdain, you know. Um, I felt lived for again. And so I will just always be so grateful uh, to my only one. And I just... I went home and I sat on the bed and I just knew who I was. Thank you.